Hi, everybody. Welcome to Paste Studio on the Road. We're live at the Pam Nation headquarters in New York City right now with Mireya. Mireya, welcome. Congratulations to you on the debut solo album. It is out in the world, and it is. we're going to hear three songs from it today. What do you guys feel like doing first? That's right. We're going to do Quédate Aquí, a.k.a. Sundown, which is a 360, 660 song from New Zealand, and it's my rendition of it in Espanol. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. 
for coming here and doing this. My this pleasure. is the coolest job that there is. We get to do this all day. <laughs> I feel great, and you did that, so thank you. Um, can we talk about the amazing musicians that were, um, in addition to the musicians who are here in this room right now, who are on this record? I and mean, there's a lot of, like, we got to cross paths with Gabby Moreno recently, with Jorge Glem, with Leo as well. Um, can you talk about what, uh, what those various amazing world-class musicians added to this record? Yeah, for sure. I'm just, I just want to say that I'm so grateful and honored. It's such a gift to be able to call these people my friends. and. They're just, everyone added their flavor to the album. And um, I have Gabi Moreno on Lady in Grinning Soul, which is a David Bowie cover. And um, Mike Garson, who's David Bowie's uh, piano player, original piano player. And um, I have Jorge Glem and Flor de Toloache, my band Flor de Toloache, my sisters on Nunca Te Olvidar. I have uh, Roman Rojas on that same song. Um, I have Aide Milanes, who's Pablo Milanes's daughter. On, on a beautiful ranchera, Cancion Mixteca. I have uh, Camilo Lara on Angelitos Negros. And I have Adrián Quesada from the Black Pumas yeah. and my brother Velcro on another song. I hope that I'm not forgetting anyone, but yes, that's, and Sonia Montes, my cousin. So yeah, a lot of beautiful artists are on this album. Crew, and, the and the New Zealand crew. Yes, I, I got to record a song in New Zealand while I was there for a year and a half. <laughs> staying, staying healthy, yeah, free. staying healthy. Yeah. I got really lucky to be there, and I got to meet awesome musicians, and they they also added their flavor to a few of the songs in, on my album. Good, yeah. good. Yeah, that you listed all of them. You, every every one uh, that you just said that is that is all a fact. I think we got we got everybody, and that's. Um, <laughs> Um, do you, when you go about choosing these musicians, is it ever a case of um, a person who you don't know and you say, all right, I admire this work and I know for sure it would work on this track and then just go seek them out? Or does it tend to be a more organic thing, like cousins and friends and family who end up all, uh, all adding to it? I think it's a combo of both in this album. I, I want it to have, I, I want it to feel like a collective and, and to reflect my trajectory and the fact that I, I have worked with so many bands and, and so many genres of music and I wanted to, to show that in this album. And so um, w some of the songs I was like, I really thought about, sat down and thought about who do I want, who does this song call for? And so um, Letting Greening Soul, which is a David Bowie cover for sure, I wanted Gabi Moreno. Um, because she's in a David Bowie cover uh, band, and she tours with them sometimes, and and plus she's just an amazing powerhouse vocalist, and so I wanted to, that, that was an excuse, you know, to work with her. Um, but uh, for sure I wanted to work with my cousin, and Camilo Lara is a homie for a long time, and, and also definitely wanted to have him on my album. So yeah, just different ways, but it happened pretty organically, and everyone was super down, and very generously gave their time and, and their talent. Good. Well, you guys, we're, we appreciate you generously giving us our time and your music here today in Pam's uh, living room. And uh, there's still a lot more to be shared from the self-titled debut. What do you want to do second today? We're going to do Climbing Fences. This song is written by Sonia Montes, an amazing, inspiring artist who is my cousin. And I was drawn to the song, a beautiful song, because it speaks on police brutality. And on my album, I, other than love and heartbreak, I wanted to also uh, address uh, the lack of representation of Afro-Latinos and also represent our black and brown community and, through music. And so this is one of those songs. This is called Climbing Fences. <laughs>
Shut 
Thank you. Thank you. Wow, we've got even audience in the backyard here who could. <laughs> I'm sure there's people out on the sidewalk who, who heard everything out there and enjoyed it as much as we did. Man, this is beautiful. Thank you for coming Thank and you. playing music with us today. Absolutely. Um, were, you, were you in the U.S. When, um, when a lot of the BLM protests, a lot of social justice was more at the forefront of the, of the national conversation than it has been in since, probably since the 60s? Were you around or were you in New Zealand when everything was really. I was in New Zealand. Going on? And yeah. it's part of the reason why I really wanted to have at least two songs on my album that that would contribute uh, somewhat and address those those issues and and so that was my way of contributing from far away with music and so I recorded climbing fences in New Zealand and Angelitos Negros as well does that tend to, is that your main um, main way to bring social justice issues to light is through music or are you involved in any kind of community initiatives or anything like that or is music really what you concentrate on to spread that message? Mostly music, but I definitely um, support organizations that ask, especially with Flora Toluachi, we get to do a lot of um, panels or workshops and and just you know speak on our experience, which alone that's an example of of those of those issues. You know, we are women, we empower women, and through our experience, um, we get to talk about that. But also, I'm an Afro Latina um, leading a band, and so we also talk about those things and um, and everything, all the challenges that we have faced. And so through that, we get to really address those issues and spark a conversation, which I feel like it's very important and it's important to me as an artist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I mean, it's, yeah. it's important to us to use this platform to spread music and entertainment. It's also very important to use it when it's when it is possible to spread Absolutely. messages that, that really, really, really matter. Um, what is what's your summer look like? Are you out there speaking, paneling, tolo watching? Are you doing this record? <laughs> what are you? Yeah. Tolo watching. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> tolo watching. Yes. It happens like all the time. So, yeah, we're touring with Flora Tolo Ache. Um, we have a major tour for our new album that's coming out in the fall. And I'll be doing some shows. Uh, I'll be doing an LA show with Making Movies, who was just here. Hey. Um, yeah, <laughs> we have Juan Carlos. <laughs> not here, not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I'm really excited about that. It'll be my first album release show, and I get to share the night with my family, my musical family from Kansas City. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have a show here in New York as an album release, October 17th, and Jill's Pop. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Well, enjoy all of it. Travel safely between thank those you. dates. Um, have fun in LA, and um, and thank you again for your music here today. There's still one more song from the self-titled debut to be yes. played. What do you want to do third today? We're gonna do Nunca Te Voy a Olvidar, and on the album it features Jorge Glem and Flor de Toloache, and this speaks about being proud of where you come from and bringing all those things with you, you bring in your heart and sharing with others. Nunca Te Voy a Olvidar. Hope you guys enjoy this. Written by Roman Rojas.
for sharing your time Absolutely. with us and uh, best of continued luck on Mireya that album is out right now and yes. that was three songs from it so that was tremendous thank you so much and we'll see you again hopefully somewhere equally as cool as yeah, Pam's, sure. Pam's living room see you next time Muchas gracias. thank All you right. for tuning in <laughs> that's it we did yes. it <laughs>